was to once again extend a very warm, warm welcome to everyone gathered here and joining us online. Our call to worship is a prayer for the Wednesday of Holy Week from our feast and festivals prayer handbook and credited to a Richard Church. Very appropriate name. In the days of your humiliation, your perseverance in the face of opposition, Lord Jesus set our eyes on you. In the time of public proclamation and private torment and abuse, Lord Jesus set our eyes on you. In the loneliness of our walk of faith, unaware of the unseen multitude of faithful people, Lord Jesus set our eyes on you. When we grow weary of giving of, or the fruitfulness of our efforts overwhelms us, Lord Jesus set our eyes on you. Thank you for the assurance of the coming day, a day of restoration and new life, for indelible rejoicing and not so. Lord Jesus set our eyes on you. We'll now continue our worship by singing our first hymn. This should be 38 as we are gathered, and we'll sing it through twice as it's a hymn. here today, Lord, we praise you for your charge of our lives and we acknowledge you as King of Kings and Lord of Lords over all creation. You have created a place of beauty and a resource of our, for our food and water. Enable us to do our part in protecting what you have made. Father, your presence lifts us and your grace amazes us, your power overwhelms us, and your love excites us. As we look around us and see the beauty you have created, we do indeed thank you for your graciousness you have shown us. Lord, our world needs you so much, so we ask and pray for a revival and a turning to your truth. Hear us now as we pray the prayer you have taught us to sing. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. hear the word of the Lord. Our reading is taken from John chapter 13 verses 21 to 32. After he said this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified, Very truly I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another. I lost to know which of them he meant. One of them, the disciples whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter motioned to his this disciple and said, I don't know which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then, dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, What you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him, since Judas had charge of the money. Some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival, or to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out, and it was night. God's word for the people of God. Thanks be to God. <coughs> but now we reach the wedding. It had taken place during the week and what the Lord was doing and the events of the Wednesday. Monday featured the cleansing of the temple and sorrow over the children's <coughs> lack of faith. Tuesday, featured a lot of teaching of the people and severe questioning from his opponents. Today, the Wednesday, it would seem Jesus stays in Bethany. As you know, the Passover is two days away and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Matthew chapter 26, verses 1 to 2. While Jesus remains in Bethany, Across the Kidron Valley, the chief priests and elders gather and make their plans to arrest Jesus and secretly have him killed. However, as we read in Matthew 26, verses 3 to 5, but not during the festival, they said, or there may be a riot among the people. This serves as a reminder that everything unfolds in God's timing. And through his authority, no one takes Jesus' life. It is given freely. Passover. <coughs> it is likely that Jesus and his disciples spent a quieter day in Bethany, and by the afternoon, According to the Gospel of Matthew, and at the Matthew then records the anointing of Jesus as 
bones. A woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? they asked. After this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly I tell you, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Matthew 26, verses 7 to 13. There are differences in details and time scales between the four Gospels of the account of Jesus' anointing, Matthew and Mark alone, placing it as taking place on the Wednesday of Holy Week. But for our Holy Week Wednesday purposes, it is enough to note Jesus is setting the meaning of our actions as anointing his body for burial, and that Jesus is clearly by an act of devotion and her insight. We should also note no intended slight or indifference to the poor in Jesus' reply. Our acts of service are not to be seen in opposition to our service of God or as a substitute for worship. The worship of God comes first and is intended to fuel our works of charity and service. The scene now changes to Judas and his betrayal, as described earlier in our Bible reading from Matthew's Gospel. Until now, there has not been much mention of Judas among the twelve disciples, and his role has been minimal. But he now emerges from the background shadow. To betray Jesus. Matthew, Mark, and Luke's gospels appearing to place the start of his plans to betray Jesus from this day and Holy Week. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him thirty pieces of silver. From there, Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. Matthew 26, verses 14 to 16. Why did Judas do this? We can only guess at his motivation, and the remain to a large degree shrouded in my Stealing from the common money bag, John chapter 12, verse, verse 6. The zealot party, who were not known for their interest in hearing of the need for personal healing, repentance, or the need to love their enemies. He may not have intended to betray Jesus, merely forced his hand. The most likely explanation is that he became disillusioned with Jesus as he failed to come to overthrow the hated The tragedy of Judas was that he refused to accept Jesus as he was and tried to make Jesus what he wanted him to be. He thought he knew better than God. This brings to an end the wooden step of Holy Week. A common day for the Lord and his disciples spent and shared with friends, but a day in which Satan entered the heart of one particular man and storm clouds began to gather. We'll now continue your worship by singing official praise 465, Greatness and Majesty. <laughs> Thank you. 
country and the world are men and women who believe that your work in Jesus Christ holds its promise not only for this life but for the life to come. Save your believers from spiritual arrogance. Show them how you have divided opinions without having dividing loyalties. There are too many whose lives are crippled and inhibited by illness, ignorance, bitterness and grief, by exploitation and by envy, by physical or mentally handicapped. We know and love some of these people, but Father, you know and love them all. Take them into the care and skill of your own hands. Help all of us to be your own hands so that everything that's of your love be with all our services who are there for us day and night. And for those of our group who are not here this morning, be close to them and help them wherever they may be. Bless all our families, wherever they are, up and down the line. And bless our neighbours and give them peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Amen.
We'll now finish our worship by singing our final hymn, Mission Phase 580, by Dawn, by Dawn, and Matt. once again go to Isabel for today's prayers and to Lynette for leading us in our musical worship and to those who have prepared who will shortly be serving the teas, coffees and home baking as we stay on for our after worship fellowship in the hall and as always to each of you joining your worship today online or in prayer wherever you are and we'll now finish our worship by seeing together our case. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. 